Hi, I'm Chef Mark with LearnToCook.com. Today's session will be preparing creme anglaise, or English cream, used as a custard uh, for many preparations. It's very enjoyable. Also nice to pour over strawberries. It's a great sauce to use for fresh fruit. So to make that, it's actually, there's only four ingredients, but it can be somewhat complex. Make sure you have a thermometer nearby, and you have half and half, a little extract, three egg yolks, and sugar. It's a technique thing. So you want to heat up the heavy cream. You can use heavy cream, but I use half and half. And then you can put in a quarter of a vanilla bean, or you can just put some vanilla extract, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Vanilla bean's nice to have. You buy the whole vanilla pod and then cut into sections. I like to store it in the freezer. And then I need a quarter section or an eighth of a section for creme anglaise. I'll split it open and remove all the tiny seeds out of the vanilla bean. Great, gives it a nice color as what you see in the French, uh, French vanilla bean ice cream, right, with the vanilla beans, in the small little beans, the very small seeds inside. But this works just as nice with the little extract, a little easier and not as costly as uh, a teaspoon of vanilla bean, which could be $7 just for the bean. So we're going to bring this to a boil. Now, some people might use heavy cream. That gives you a little more insurance, but I like to do things on the edge sometimes. This is half and half, so the, the important part is to bring the vanilla and the half and half to a boil. And then we're going to liaison, which is a term we use when we add something cold to a hot liquid. So while that's heating, I have the sugar and the egg yolks I'm mixing together. A liaison in this sense means we're adding some of the hot liquid to the room temperature or cold liquid, especially since it's egg yolks. Where I would put these into the hot liquid, they would scramble. That would be a bad thing, right? So I'm just whisking up the sugar and the egg yolks. You can see the half and half has really come to a simmer. What I need to do now is, and what you can see now, the Half and half it really comes to a simmer. So what I want to do now is liaise or add some of that liquid, a few drops at a time, into my bowl. And what that does is brings the temperature of the egg yolks close to the temperature of the hot liquid. So that's the liaison. It's a classic a French term we use to, to make a classic sauce like this. Also used when you make a sauce Mornay or other sauces in the classic Escoffier realm. So we slowly bring up, and it doesn't take that long, you know, once you have a few drops of that hot liquid, you can add the rest of that half and half that has boiled into your eggs, because you're bringing that temperature up. Also sauce, a sauce Mornay uh, uses this method as well. So now that we have that brought up to similar temperature, as the boiling half and half vanilla, put the heat back on. The half and half is simmering again, and we can whisk this in in a steady stream right into that hot liquid. And we want to avoid it getting above 190 degrees, hence my pocket thermometer. You know, that whisk. This is a sauce that you make, and it can store up to three days in the refrigerator. And it's beautiful. If you freeze it, guess what you have? Vanilla ice cream. So it, it does a dual purpose. This is also the base for an ice cream. So let's check the temp and see where we're at. I see it's starting to simmer, so that tells me it's getting close to 190. So. Come to a simmer. It smells wonderful. It smells like a beautiful custard. And I'm going to pour that. I'm going to actually strain that. So we strain it over ice. I'm just going to push all that nice creme anglaise sauce through. And it sits in the bowl. And it's, it's in the bowl and I see that. So it's already, look, it's already firming up. And that'll make a great creme anglaise. And you're going to enjoy using that. Enjoy.
Well, thanks for joining us today at LearnToCook.com. Be sure to comment and to subscribe. Also visit us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great day and thank you.